Assassination bid on Donald Trump has led to shockwaves across America a day after he was fired at, from a rooftop by a 20-year-old man identified as Thomas Crooks. The ex-president has issued a fresh statement. Trump has thanked law enforcement agencies, saying that God prevented the unthinkable. Trump further went on to say that he loved his country, that, is, that it is important for the country to stay united. Trump has now touched down in uh, another state where he is going to be part of this crucial Republican convention where he will be named as presidential candidate. Meanwhile, you have President Biden expressing gratitude that Donald Trump is doing well in the address to the nation. Joe Biden says there's a need to lower temperatures in politics, adding that differences in politics must never be literally turned into a battlefield. Melania Trump has spoken out for the first time after the attack on her husband, condemning the assassination bid, urging Americans to set aside political differences to consider leaders as humans who have families. Vice President Harris and I were just briefed in the Situation Room by my Homeland Security team, including the Director of the FBI, the Secretary of Homeland Security, the Attorney General, the Director of the Secret Service, my Homeland Security Advisor, the National Security Advisor, and we're going to continue to be briefed. The FBI is leading this investigation, which is still in its early stages. We don't yet have any information about the motive of the shooter. We know who he is. I urge everyone, everyone, please, don't make assumptions about his motives or his affiliations. Let the FBI do their job and their partner agencies do their job. I'm instructed that this investigation be thorough and swift, and the investigators will have every resource they need to get this done. זה גם ניסיון להתנקש בדמוקרטיה האמריקנית. לשמחתנו, טראמפ ניצל בנס, הוא מחלים עכשיו, נראה שהוא חזר, ל... חזר לאיתנו. אני מבקש לשלוח לו בשמי, בשם רעייתי שרה, בשם שרים ממשלת ישראל, בשם עם ישראל כולו, תיכולנו להחלמה מהירה וחזרה לאיתנות מלאה. זמח נז'יטיה. Дональда Трампа, жахливий злочин, який можна тільки засуджувати, який демонструє, наскільки серйозні виклики глобально зараз перед демократією. Насильство в жодній формі і ніде абсолютно не повинно взяти гору. Я впевнений, Америка гідна пройде цей виклик. Я бажаю якнайшвидшого відновлення пану Трампу сил, підтримки усім, хто постраждав. Now, a day after Trump narrowly escaped the assassination attempt, FBI has named 20-year-old man Thomas Matthew Crooks as the suspect who shot at Trump during the campaign rally. The attacker was armed with a semi-automatic AR-15 rifle. He fired eight shots from the rooftop, over 150 meters away from the stage to the right-hand side, where Trump was addressing some of the supporters there. The shooter was immediately gunned down by the Secret Service. Now, several attendees at the rally say that they saw the gunman on the rooftop try to alert the officers before he shot. But it appears that the officers could not detect or gauge the threat at that point when the man was preparing himself to shoot at Trump. Authorities, including the FBI and the local law enforcement agencies, are investigating the motive behind Crook's actions. FBI says it's probe on the assassination bid will be done in line with domestic terrorism. The shooter's motive, though, of this attack is yet to be identified.